Hello, second grade. Welcome to module one, lesson three. Our objective for this lesson is I can add and subtract like units. Now I'm going to show you some problems and I want you to think about what you notice about these problems. Pay close attention. Five plus two equals seven. Two plus five equals seven. 7 minus 5 equals 2, and 7 minus 2 equals 5. Now, what do you notice about this slide? What do you notice about these numbers? If you said that all of the numbers are the same, just in a different order, you're absolutely correct. 5 plus 2 equals 7, and 2 plus 5 also equals 7. The 5 and the 2 just flip-flopped in these two problems, but they equal the same number. 7 is in the same spot down here in our subtraction problem, but the 5 and the 2 again flip-flopped. 7 minus 5 equals 2. 7 minus 2 equals 5. These are number families. Now those number families can also help us in, when we're trying to add and, sub and subtract bigger numbers. So let's take the five plus two equals seven. And how we figured that out is we added five ones plus two ones. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, five ones plus two more one two gave us seven ones now let's take 45 plus two and see what we get if you notice the five is the same and the two is the same So if we have a 5 plus 2, it's going to equal 7 ones. So down here we have 5 ones plus 7 ones. So we're probably going to have 7 ones here. So let's add those 7 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, we have 4 tens here. So all we have to do is we have to add four tens to the beginning of our seven ones. One, two, three, and four tens. How many do we have all together now? We have 47, very good. Now let's take five plus two equals seven again. We've got our ones here. Five ones plus two more ones. And we're going to take 35 plus two this time. Notice our fives are in line again. So most likely our seven is going to be in a line. So we need our seven ones again down here. Because we know five plus two equals seven. And now how many tens do we need to add to the beginning of that? If you said three, you are absolutely correct. We have three tens here that we need to add. One, two, three. So what is our answer to 35 plus two? If you said 37, give yourself a kiss on the brain. Excellent job. We can do the same thing with subtraction. So let's take our 7 minus 2 equals 5. We have our 7 ones, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 ones. And we need to take two of those away, so 1, 2. And we have five ones left here. So now what if we have 47 minus 2? Our 7's are lined up again, 
and our twos are lined up again. Let's get our seven ones here because we've got 47. And we need four tens. So one, two, three, four. And we're taking away how many ones? We're taking away two. So one, two. Now, all we have to do is drop down our five and add our tens. So we got 45. Let's take our seven minus two equals five problem again. Let's get our ones up here. And we need to take two of those ones away so that we have five. Seven minus two equals five. And now we have 27 minus two. Our sevens are lined up and our twos are lined up. So we need to subtract our ones first. So let's get our ones up here. We need seven ones. And how many tens do we need? Correct, we need two tens. So let's get our tens up there. And we need to take away how many ones? Two. One, two. So what is our answer to 27 minus two? Go ahead and write that down. I hope you got 25. If you did, kiss your brain. Excellent job. The five. You bring down the 5 just like we did on the other ones because 7 minus 2 equals 5 and you just add those two tens to the beginning there. Okay, now we're going to get a little bit harder here. We've got two digit numbers here and a two digit number here. So the first thing we need to do is we need to break up this 51. So how we do that is we have five tens and one ones. So five tens and one one plus 20. So we need to put down how many ones we have. We have one ones. You notice we don't have any ones here, so we don't have to add any there. So we just take our ones and put it over here. And now we need to add our tens. Five plus two equals seven tens. And our answer is 71. Let's do another one. Let's take 54 plus 20. First, we need to break up our 54 into our tens and our ones. So we have five tens and we have four ones. Now we just need to bring our four ones over to the equals part and we have our four ones. And we need to add our tens. So five tens plus two tens equals seven tens. And we have 74. Our answer is 74. I want you to try this one out on your own. I want you to first break up the 58 and then get your answer. Push pause and then push play when you're ready. So you should have broken up the 58 into five tens and eight ones. Then you're going to bring your eight ones over here and you're going to add your tens together, your five tens plus your two tens and you should have gotten seven tens and your answer is 78. If you got 78, give yourself a kiss on the brain. Excellent job. Now let's do our debriefing questions. These debriefing questions you're going to seesaw to your teacher so you're going to make a short video and answer these questions. Your first question is compare 24 plus 5 to 24 plus 50. 
what's different? What's different about the 24 plus 5 and 24 plus 50? Then you need to tell me, do you think you could teach what you learned to someone else? And how would you teach that? So the, the things that we just learned in this lesson, do you think you could teach those to somebody else, to the upcoming the first graders coming into second grade next year, do you think you could teach this to them? And how would you teach it to them? Your next one, your next question is, what name would you give this lesson? After you're done with your, uh, your short video, seesaw that to your teacher. And then you need to get your exit ticket. Your exit ticket is going to look like this. Make sure you have Lesson 3, Exit Ticket. Good luck.